You ever had to reevaluate your thought process when the impossible becomes the possible? Wow. Will you become a believer with it being a believer? Not dimming your light, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day? Hear you because you became that believer that the possible can be possible? Choosing your possibilities because you showed up for yourself, not shortchanging yourself. Wow, self-reflecting within self-reflecting. It wasn't easy, but it was an even exchange as you choosing your best self-vision of yourself to not allow yourself to dim your light. Yeah, paying attention within paying attention. You understood the reflection. To pay attention to yourself today in the most healthiest way, not to dim your light. Not allow yourself to hurt yourself with your own words. Wow, it's a thought process to me. They didn't see your worth, let alone your value, let alone to respect you. But you wasn't trying to shortchange yourself today. Your past don't live here today. The energy had different. When you're tuned into yourself in the most healthiest way, you went from the impossible to the possible, becoming a believer. That anything is possible. Wow. You're paying attention within paying attention. You became a believer within a believer. Never to allow someone to dim your light. Because you became a believer. When your pain and your trauma don't live here today, they don't understand why you smile. They don't understand that you self-reflect and understood your pain and your trauma don't live here today and understood that the impossible was the possible and the possible was being a believer and being a believer was choosing your best self-vision of yourself to self-reflect. Because you matter, you're worthy to not allow yourself to dim your light because there are better days ahead. With God's protection for every direction, not to dim your light. Because God didn't dim your light. You are the light within the light. You are the shooting star. Use God's star. It's the thought process to me. To not allow yourself to dim your light. Because they didn't see your worth. They try to dim your light. When that energy don't work. Dang. They don't understand how you didn't dim your light when they didn't have a light. When they didn't have a light, it's a thought process for me. I hate in disguise, they continue to multiply. They won't ever be able to understand your light, God's light. The energy hit different. I say that respectfully. It's the thought process for me. You know, God's light, will you choose your best self vision of yourself to understand? Good day, bad day, misunderstanding days. God is still being patient with your process. Understanding your assignment within your assignment. There are better days ahead. Loving yourself to respect yourself to respect your neighbor with no malicious intentions. That energy hit different. Hater, hate in disguise, they continue to multiply. They try to dim your light within dim your light, but they can't. As they continue to multiply. Because why? You self-reflecting, you understand it in the day. That dimming your light was never part of the plan, but elevating and understanding that the awareness within awareness that you are the light within the light. God's light. It's the thought past me. I gotta go. <laughs> you know, never allow a temporary situation and a hate in disguise and someone that doesn't understand the way you tie your shoe today or understand the way that you know how to respect yourself to stay in your own lane and they can't respect you, neighbor. To understand that they never shortchange yourself because the one doesn't see your worth or someone allows you to feel like you need to give up or be in fear or be discouraged and that's not the plan. Your plan when it comes to respecting yourself and respecting your neighbor with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. It's called respect. Wow. When common sense ain't common sense. So never shortchange yourself because someone doesn't have common sense. Everybody common sense ain't common sense. And so you got to protect your energy at the end of the day to know your common sense and not to shortchange yourself with someone who doesn't have common sense. It's the thought process me. I got to go. <laughs> never allow someone to dim your light because they don't know how to respect themselves to understand that um, regardless of someone's trauma and their pain and Things will never be the same as when someone actually says they're maturing and meaning what they say without wearing a mask to fake gaslight themselves and they truly at peace with themselves to understand the awareness within awareness that they love themselves and not to go back and forth with someone who ain't got common sense. Because someone doesn't see your worth. And you matter. To not allow someone to them your life. I gotta go! <laughs> it's the thought process for me! Have a safe day. Have a safe weekend. 
Have a safe week ahead of you. Protect your energy, because everybody deserves a good time. Now you're doing your love, respect. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. Never allow a hating disguise or a person with malicious intentions psych you out your thought process, leveling your freedom, your pockets, or your eyesight. Because they don't have good intentions. <laughs> it's the thought process for me! God is good. God said better days I had. Love yourself to respect yourself to respect yourself to respect your neighbor with no malicious intentions regardless of your culture, regardless of your disability, regardless of your sexual orientation, regardless of your religion. I said culture. Yeah, that part. When someone doesn't have malicious intentions to bring harm towards themselves or others around them, it's called respect. Neighbor, never judge a book by its cover. Never shortchange yourself going back and forth with someone who ain't got comments. I gotta go! <laughs> it's a thought process for me! <laughs> Night, genuine love, respect. Have a good day. <laughs>